In today's video, we are gonna be doing a little experiment. And the research question is, why do humans love speed so much, even though it is dangerous? And to help us with this experiment, we're gonna be using two different vehicles. This, a big, fast, loud car, and this, a big, loud motorcycle. Now, the best thing about this experiment is the simplicity, because we are gonna be using this thing. What is this, you might ask? Well, this is a heart rate monitor advanced medical stuff. I am not a doctor at all. In fact, I am nowhere near a doctor. So let me take this coat off and, and put it away because it is embarrassing. 23 years old, shouldn't be acting like that. But this thing will be measuring my heart rate as I do reckless things on a close course. So we're gonna start collecting data in the car and I'm gonna check my heart rate now and start the car because Yes, because it is getting very hot. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, wow. Well, that's not good. All right, guys, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the car in its most aggressive setting. We're gonna get our heart rate as we drive. We're gonna launch the car, of course. So here we go, launch control X. Oh, God. My heart rate is definitely shot up. Oh yes. You know, luckily enough, there happens to be another chap in, a, in an older Come here. Come on, push through this one. Goodbye. Goodbye. Nice car though, nice car. Okay, oh, we are in the high triple digits. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show what just happened or not, but we, I couldn't have scripted that at all. So what we're gonna do is we have him pulling up next to us now. Okay, let's get it. I've driven this car many times. I get very excited whenever I drive it. I didn't think this excited, I thought, 95 i'm always chilling in the 68 72 kind of beats per minute but crazy that's crazy and it's not a massive number but it's i mean what that's pretty fortunately, cool fortunately my experiment Here. has been cut short because of a d dodgy clutch now i did get on it and i tried moving but the clutch was just not responding at all makes sense the bike has been parked for six months and to be completely honest with you i don't want to risk my life for a video that's not even going to get any views you know, had I been promised a million views, I would have just sent it, but <laughs> just such a shame to die for. <laughs> anyhow, anyhow, I did capture my heart rate as I got on the bike and started it and as I was waiting for it so I could get moving. Um, so I'm going to share the numbers with you guys. So for the M8, uh, the starting heart rate was 72 beats per minute, which is, I would say, I think it's quite normal, uh, but the highest I have reached was 146 beats per minute, uh, which is, uh, to be completely honest with you, shocking. I do feel the adrenaline sometimes, and I feel, you know, oh my god, and that, that sort of thing, but 146 is, uh, is a big number. But for the bike, before I moved, my heart rate was 98 beats per... 98, 98s. It was 98 beats per minute. Uh, I was, I've been, I sat on the bike for like a good two minutes. I was calm. I was, I, or I thought I was chill. Turns out I, I was clearly uh, on the verge of panicking. But if I did end up going on this ride, I think that my heart rate would have definitely uh, shot up a lot higher than than what the M8 has achieved, which is. Uh, understandable i think it all depends on the danger factor because the motorcycle is a lot more dangerous and i know that and my body knows that so it was more in a adrenaline 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 i can't speak to it was like more of an adrenaline shock kind of thing fight or flight kind of thing whatever it is they call it but they have actually done case studies on that sort of thing and it shows that i don't because i don't i don't want to say the wrong thing and it shows that humans uh, seek sensation seeking and risk taking and uh, that's what okay maybe i shouldn't have read that uh but 
he, moral of the story is humans like to do more dangerous things when it comes to speed specifically speed they want to go fast but not only do they want to go fast they want to do crazy stuff in between doing that which adds more dangerous which is an adrenaline rush so more oxygen to the muscles more adrenaline more feeling good i think that's how it works so it depends on what kind of person you are and what you seek is what's gonna you know it, is it a horrible video isn't it i'm sorry uh i thought it would be a lot better than this but anyways the the, the i dropped out of school uh so i left the whole uh high this research science stuff i don't know i just know research question and there's a conclusion at the end i think so this is the conclusion if a human increases the danger into what they're already doing that means more fun but why is it more fun because it is more adrenaline but it will vary from one person to the other because for you this could be just too risky without much reward but to me for example this would be something that is very rewarding in terms of feeling uh so the risk therefore is understood i guess and yeah if for some reason there's anybody still watching this video i don't think anybody can you if, but look look let's do this if you're still watching the video comment um 21 maybe i should update my jokes no don't comment 21 just leave an angry face emoji that that way i know that y y you watched um and you don't have to subscribe or like or anything i just want to know if there's actual like actual human beings that make it to the end of the video uh like genuinely i, I, I want to know this but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you are new here don't subscribe because i told you not to subscribe so if you're new here check out the other videos maybe i say subscribe at the end of another one so then subscribe then i will see you guys in the next one